Early start, 4am, and you can probably tell by my voice, I am very, very, very tired. So, this is going to be Manchester, all the way down to Belgium, partly in an i3, but then mainly in a R110 Renault Zoe. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Morning, Nick. Morning. I feel like I've woken up at... 3am to drive home. You have. Oh, right. Um, <laughs> so the the title's a bit of a lie. It does say Manchester to um, Bel Belgium in an R110, but I technically took my car most of the way, and now Craig's going to drive us all the way from Coventry to, to Belgium. Belgium. But I've got a little surprise. Um, someone yeah. sent me someone sent me a video format for, for, for me to watch. Uh, they told me to watch it before I set off with you, so it's now in your car, so we're going to play it on the R-Link screen on the Zoe. Right, okay. This is where we epically fail because I don't know how to play Is it videos. Yep. Oh, look at this. And USB. USB. And then play me. Play me. Nick, I hear you're spending a weekend with Craig. I have to warn you, okay? He snores like crazy. Don't share a room, you will not sleep a wink. Also, stay away from forests. He has an unhealthy obsession with bears. Oh, and he likes to speed. Other than that, enjoy the trip, all right? <laughs> oh, God. Thanks, Jan. Cheers, Jan. Oh, it's me playing again. Oh, this is what I wanted over and over again. <laughs> He, has, he had to be in this, didn't he? Oh. He just couldn't miss the road trip. No, he couldn't. <laughs> if we leave him in the USB stick, he's actually coming with us. Yeah, Jan, I know uh, you're, you're the only person who spent this many hours with Craig in a car, so I asked you for advice, and this is the advice you give me. Are we sharing a room? Yes. <laughs> Today, me and Craig are going to Belgium, like I mentioned before. Uh, we're doing it in his R110, which at the moment has a range of 165 miles on the guesser meter. Craig's got a couple of things in the new Zoe. One of them is he's got Bose. And he's just demonstrated Bose to me. And I didn't usually think it was worth the extra money, but now I do. <laughs> um, how much was it, Craig, Bose? Uh, um, how much I paid or how much is it? Uh, how, how, much, <laughs> how much is it? Uh, I think it's either, it's either 300 or 500 extra. I think it's 300, but I could be wrong, could be 500, but it's definitely still well worth it. Right, okay, cool. Um, the, the other thing I noticed is you've got the uh, the boot storage thing in the back. Yeah. Um, which would you buy? How much was that? That's, that's, that's about hundred and forty pound. That is. Okay. Uh, hundred and fifty. That's well worth having because it hides all your cables. Yeah, you know, and it's actually just smacking boot. the big boat thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you, you do lose a little bit of boot space, but it's not affected us. Yeah. Well, half the scooters are in the back of the seats. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah, the scooters are there. Um, the one thing I did mention, uh, I haven't mentioned on both, which I didn't know, you don't just get the subwoofer, you also get the front speakers. Yeah, um, tweeters. So you cool. get new tweeters, everything in, in, on the on the both mall. So the, I, the sound quality, I can't demonstrate it because if I play any music, then I have to pay YouTube for playing copyrighted music. But it is definitely, 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 definitely worth the money, and I didn't think I would say that. And I'm not. Do you know, I think the, the new interior on the new R110 is definitely nicer. I yeah. like the black. I, I don't like the middle console, I prefer the grey in the middle, but I prefer the door trims in black and stuff. So what do you reckon Renault uh, PR have got to show us in Belgium? Do you reckon we've got any surprises or do you reckon it's just they want us to turn up for the day to show, show off? They just want us there, I reckon, because we're awesome. I don't know, mate, I really don't know. It'd be nice. Maybe they're... Um going to show us something really special like a Zoe with some special connector on the front. A special connector? Yeah. You mean one that won't work with ecotricity? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're at Beckingfield Services, which is the biggest... I'm tweeting, Nick! No, shut up! <laughs> We're at Beckingfield Services, so we're halfway there to the tunnel. About halfway now, yeah. Yep, yeah, uh, and tunnels, I've never been on it, you have quick yeah, is it? It's, um, well you get on, you get off, and you're there. Alright, oh, okay. You, you, yeah, you just drive through it. You just drive through what, the one of my friends said the other day, she went, she went, it's a train. I went, yeah. She went, I thought you drove through the channel tunnel. And I went, no. <laughs> I will be good though. Yeah, I suppose. It wouldn't be as quick. Uh, free ecotricity rapids here. Um, one's on free vend. One's on free vend. But it's CCS, yeah, it's and I left the BMW at Craig's because if we took the BMW, we wouldn't have had to stop as much because you know it's 
better and it charges quicker than your slow charging R Zoe that you know you told everyone don't buy an R Zoe and you bought an R Zoe. So what I have to put up with, look, filming, filming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you check out Craig's channel by the way. Or um, Nick's channel, you can check out Nick's. Yeah, if you check out Craig's channel you can see my equipment and if you see my Nick's channel you can see his equipment. Yeah, vice versa. <laughs> hey! Uh, right, so let's let's have a quick look at Craig's R110. So, R110, you get the new fancy wheels. Are they 15 inch? 16. 16? Yeah. They look tiny. They do look different compared to the other ones because the black, I think, gives it the... Yeah, it makes it look smaller than the than the, than the the other one. And yet other people have said it makes it look more sportier. Oh, okay. I, I They look sport. It definitely looks sportier. It's dirty. What are we going to do? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, can we have a look at the both of the back, Craig? But then, no, you won't see because of all the stuff in there, mate. Well, just, I'm emptying all the bags out. Well, just open, open it up. Just open the boot. Open the boot. How dirty it is. Look, look how much you can fit in the back of a Zoe. Greg, what's the joke they make about EVs? They're like milk floats. <laughs> Look at that one. Oh, a milk float. We're at 10.33. Uh, no, we're not. We're at 9.34. <laughs> we're going to hit the Eurotunnel at 10.33. Craig got me to get up at 3am uh, this morning. Uh, that's 3am. I woke up at half 12 like a giddy kid at Christmas. Um, <laughs> Because I didn't want to oversleep, oversleep coming here. But uh, Craig, what time's the the Eurotunnel book for? Um, it's, it's um, it's yeah. What, what time? Ten to three. The ten to three, and and we're gonna get there at half ten. Yeah. And you told me to get there at yours early, so we don't miss the train. We're definitely not gonna miss it, are we? No, no, no. But I could have slept at a normal time. And then miss the train. No, we wouldn't have missed I the train. Think of the the positiveness. Although, think of the positive things, Nick. When we get there early, yeah. we're going to be able to charge. Although, although, think of this. We're on the M25 and there's no traffic. There is that side. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't really concern us that. No. So, yeah. let's think of the real big positive here, Nick. We arrive early. Yeah. We get a charge. Yeah. Free charge. Yeah. We got on the early train. Yeah. We get to the hotel early. Yeah. We get drinking early. You don't have to drive today, do you? No. Is there any so who's the best person? We're going to get slashed. I am absolutely going to get wasted. I snore when I'm drunk. I don't. <laughs> right. So, see? I just, I didn't hey, the... you, know, you know when you go in the Eurotunnel? Yeah. Do you have to turn your, uh, t t the cars have to turn their engine off? Yeah, we do. So we're at the Eurotunnel and there's two chargers for AC. One of them is broke and smashed up and the other one was lying on the floor as we got here and Craig almost ran over it. So uh, we almost ended up in France with no charge but luckily uh, this one is they're all on free vend here at the Eurotunnel. There's annoyingly only two chargers for uh, non-Tesla cars. Tesla have currently got four stalls with another four going in. I do think that we need another two more Chadamo and CCS chargers here though for other cars don't we? I think so, mate, yeah. It's not really fair, is it? No. And there's plenty of room. Yeah, loads of room. They just need to put... I think Charge Master should come and stick some uh, nice little... New Polar Chargers. New Polar Chargers, yeah. yeah. So, uh, if you're listening, Tom... Car is it Tom Carlo from Polar? Please, 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 please. Put some charges here. Please. We've arrived in France with a fully charged Renault Zoe. Craig was a little bit naughty on the rapid charger, weren't you, Craig? No. Craig? I don't know what you're on about. Craig? What? What did you do? Rubbed in. How long did you stay on the rapid charger? 20 minutes. How long did you stay on the rapid charger? 30. How long did you stay on the rapid charger? Two hours. <laughs> <laughs> there was no one else there. No one wanted to use it, so I may as well use it. Yeah, to be fair, no AC cars, no Chadimo cars, no other cars turned up. Apart, Apart from, from Teslas, Teslas, which use the Tesla superchargers. Uh, so we got a full, full charge to 100% on a rapid charger. Right. I'm going to say this is deja vu, mate. Deja vu. When I came with Jan to yeah. Belgium, we drove to Austria. This happened to us, and it's happening again. So. We've got off the Channel Tunnel train and with a 149 mile range. Yes. We've done 11 miles. Yes. And we've got 154. 
It's Keats climbing up. It's not going down. It's going up again. I know. <laughs> it's Keats going up. It, this this is unreal. It's flat. Do, do you know? It almost knows. It, when, it almost knows because it's in France. It needs to behave itself because it might go back to the factory at Finns. Oh, maybe that's what it's thinking. Yeah. You're not going back. Oh, it's just dropped to 120. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's 150. 153 miles. Yeah, I mean. This is this is that's because it's so flat. Well, the problem with the UK is because it's so hilly. The guesser meter is constantly dealing Just, with regen yeah. and going up in hills. Where obviously in flat countries, Norway and, and France and Belgium, it's I pretty it. flat. I love it. The, the guesser meter is just continually going up. And it's, and it's warmer. It's still at 154 miles. Yeah, and we've done uh, 13 miles now. So yeah, an R110 Zoe can go to France and Belgium uh, all the way from Coventry with just two charges because we need 38 miles to get to the hotel and we've got 154 mile range. Still. Still. <laughs> I wonder if it'll go to 155. Do you know, the, the thing is as well, people are like, well, that's two charges. I could have done that in my petrol car without stopping. We had to wait for the train. So we just charged while we were waiting for the train. Yeah, otherwise we wouldn't wait two hours, but no. we had to wait for the train. So we just stayed and then we sat in the car park fiddling our thumbs. We, we arrived with 30, eight miles range left yeah we didn't need 100 percent. we could have done to 50 percent yeah but, and then when we get to belgium but, but we could charge. The, me, and, me and craig are tight and we had to pay 100 quid to get an earlier train so we just waited yeah <laughs> we weren't paying 100 pounds to get an earlier train yeah we got an earlier train anyway it was like an hour earlier yeah i mean it's four o'clock now but it's actually four o'clock or is it? Oh, oh no! Oh. I know the time. The clock's changed here. Yes, so it's now yeah, forward. It's an hour forward. So, so it's That's three o'clock. Really in four messing my head up now. That yeah. is. So we'll see you at the hotel. Yes. Uh, if, if you're watching, oh no, they won't be watching, will they? Because it'd be we'll be done and dusted. Doesn't say get the beers on tap. <laughs> yeah, it's not live. Did that with Jan as well? It's, it's not live, Craig. So me and Craig are currently in Belgium. Uh, at the moment ready for the Newport drivers rally tomorrow morning but we're just going to get ready to set up for charging we're going to charge tonight ready for tomorrow there is 22 kilowatt charges here and it's quite a really clever charging setup what they've basically got here is a load of three phase charging distribution systems which are running directly to a cabinet over there which is connected directly into the grid it's got battery back up there and they're controlling that using a computer centralized system to make sure it doesn't short the grid or overload the grid if too many cars are on and we are the first car to test it and this is where Craig will BCI the no, Zoe and uh, make sure it doesn't work yeah. <laughs> moment of truth Craig <laughs> do we need to do that? Yeah, to uh, scan it, do we? Yeah, you need to scan it. Yeah. True live test now. Here we go. All ahead of. Ready? Oh, charge point ready. I'll turn the main mic over and we'll hear the Zoe buzz. If it starts. Yes. Not very loud, but let's say, will it tell us how many kilowatts it's going? Yeah, yeah. It's going to start to, will it ramp up? Yeah. We're about to start the driver's day rally. And luckily, there was a driver explanation of what we have to do and how it works. Unfortunately, it was all in French and Belgium. <laughs> and the map is in... Belgium. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, so, if we do get lost... We'll video it. We, we will. But what we'll do is we'll edit it out to make it look like we actually knew what we were doing. Yeah, we planned. planned. Yeah. But we're, we're going to just head through the start point now, so maybe Nick will have some footage yeah, of that. Yeah, we will do. And there's, there's Philippe from uh, the Zoe Owners Club who designed this lovely logo which is on our tops. Yes. Yes. Here's Philip, the designer. Hi. <laughs> God. You guys look so cute. Thanks. Oh, That's thank awesome. you. <laughs> We're going to head out. Are you uh, heading out as well? Yeah. Are you related? Are you brothers? No. <laughs> no. Not today. No. <laughs> so uh, this is... Hi, yeah. Hello. Hi. Hiya. Hi. Hi. This is Mac. He's I'm missing the... my Zoe. We were at the yeah. last time today, but I am Zoe. Yeah. Are you in the club? Yes, um, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Are you Teslas following each other then? Yeah, yeah. Just keep an eye out because if we if you see us in the ditch or we're lost, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be okay? Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, but did you catch the briefing? 
we had it explained oh, yeah. to us personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Personally, yeah, oh, so. oh, although, yeah. although, yeah. us saying we had it explained is going to be edited out of the video because <laughs> if we get lost. <laughs> <laughs> have we got the instruction book? Which, my bloody hell, it's huge! <laughs> how many pages there is? How far is it? Uh, 197 kilometres. 197 kilometres. So Craig has changed the, the, the Zoe clock to kilometres 2.95 uh, feet. Right, yeah. And then it's what is it left? And then it's left. It's always left. <laughs> it's going to be end up around there again in a yeah, minute. All the turnings are left, 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 left. Uh, yeah, so 2.95 we're turning left. We've basically got a book with symbols and we just tick it as we go past them. And I have to remember to tick them. That's, that's what my job is just to tick boxes today. I'm yes. a box ticker. <laughs> uh, Craig, Craig changed the kilometre thing, like I said, to kilometres. Uh, Craig will Craig will do a video on that for his channel, saying it's as simple as that to show you how it's yes. uh, how it's changed. No, I don't know, and when he's done that video, what I'm going to do is it's I'm going to link, gonna link <laughs> it top right of my video so you can find Craig's video of how to change your kilometre clock when you go to Europe. 2.95, it's 2.8 you're on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're not there yet. 2.95. Wow. Oh, no, there, look, it is. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's gone to yeah. nine. 2.95. And look, I'm doing my job of ticking a box. I tick the box, Craig. Ah, oh, stop speeding. It's. I know it's an electric car, but calm down. 5.05 <laughs> is your next turning, Craig. So I'm, I'm probably not going to stop <laughs> accelerating like a child. <laughs> <laughs> This R110 is like a little rocket ship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do it again, do it again. <laughs> Wait, have we lost the Tesla? No, he's still behind us. If we if we lose the Tesla, does that mean that the Zoe's better than a Tesla? Yeah. So if we beat a Tesla Model 3. I notice I'm trying to keyword stuff the uh, the video. So you, so you can add the so, tags. Yeah, so I can add the tags. <laughs> Tesla Model 3, Tesla Model 3, Renault Zoe R110, Renault Zoe R110. <laughs> Renault Zoe R110. <laughs> Say it a couple of times, Craig. R110, Zoe, Tesla Model S. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> any, any other keywords? Uh, drivers, driver's day, day, driver's day, Newport. Um, what, what's the other long words for it? Belgium. Belgium. <laughs> chocolate. Chocolate. Cho Belgium chocolate, there you go. Oh, uh, chocolate. Oh, we had some chocolate. Oh, do you like cakes? I do like cakes. Do not look at the uh, shop next to our hotel. Is it a cake shop? It's it's the most delicious cake shop in the world. It'll be open when we get back. <laughs> five point. Uh, five point. We're not going to get lost though, are we? Because we're fo following look, a Zoe. camera. There's electric cars all in front of us and everything. Are you trying to say that we will not get lost following another car? That's from Belgium. That's from Belgium. Probably not. No. No. Uh, don't follow them though, because you might not be in the rally. No, that one definitely is in the rally. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Take a right, right, uh, right, right at uh, 2145. 2145, sharp right, please. That's a Roger. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Me and Craig have just been discussing off camera that Craig's going to possibly. No, I'm not, not I might. Might, yeah, possibly do a, a bit of a rally, not for this year's EVs in the parks, way too short notice, but possibly next year's EVs in the park. Like a little course to follow before we go to the park. Canapé. So we just stopped for, I'm just gonna leave that for him, he just showed canapé. Yeah, we just stopped for a lovely canapé um, and a cocktail. Uh, Craig had a mocha tail as he's driving, obviously. Yeah. He doesn't want to break the laws. We- Don't drink, mate. We are not lost. This, this time we are doing very well. Uh, we're not following anyone. We're completely ignoring the fact there's a Kona in front of us. <laughs> and a Model 3 behind us. Do you know that Model 3 definitely, definitely is nice looking than the Model S. It's more it sits on the road pleasing. better as, yeah, as in not so wide. Like yeah, it S. doesn't look silly. It's, it, it's still not as as nimble as it, like round town. You still want to use the Zoe. For personally, and if do you know what I mean? For where I live, <laughs> you stop doing that. <laughs> God, it's, it's, if you haven't driven the R110, you've only had the R90 or the Q or the Q motor Zoe. The R110 is ridiculously faster. Whoa! So every time Craig accelerates without any one, you really do, it's got some punch. It had definitely got a massive difference in increase. Yeah, reason. and it's what, the actual brake horsepower difference is what, 89 on the original Zoe? 89 to 110 on this. Yeah, it's 110 on this, so it's, it's, yeah, it's a big increase. Yeah, yeah I suppose it, suppose it. Nearly, 
This feels nippy yeah, than the 20. I, I'd have to drive it on the same day, but I think this feels nippy than the um than What the was I next turning? Um 11.90, right. 11.90, nearly. So yeah, we're gonna sign off so I don't get lost, but these map book thing, no no map, that's what I like about this, it's not a map. We're not so, using sat so, now. So if you get lost, we don't know where we are. You, you don't know where you are. It, it's it makes it makes it more fun, there's more of a challenge in it, and this is great. So we'll see you at our next stop. Secret location. Yeah, very secret. Shh, we know where it is. Oi oi, oi. What do you think of the EV rally? Don't like it. This is the best thing ever. This is awesome. This is amazing. This is amazing. If we can set something like this up in the UK for an EV park in, in, in a couple of years, it'll be amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. So, Craig, are you going to try and set this up for us at EV park gonna, one I'm year? Gonna, so I'm going to discuss with my con counter sponsors that are coming up and uh, maybe think about doing something like yeah, this. This year it's a bit too late now. Yeah, it's too, it's, too it, late this day. But next year it'll be amazing. Yeah. And do you know what else would be quite cool? What's that? Setting up a group one for a trip to Silverstone one year but taking special roads. There you go. I've got my microphone on and it's a bit weird. So Hello <laughs> Testing one two um I think we turn should, around the other way. I think mate. we should go in that. What do you think? Let's do it. I, I think we should go in the back though. No 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 first time I've seen the left handed driver to us how about you? Hey First time I've been in a left-handed drive, Twizzy. <laughs> Do you know you got you got in that better than the I, I8? I don't know. You comfortable, Craig? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is uh, take one of the uh, outro for my video. We definitely didn't record it the first time and forgot to press record. Oh, really? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, the rally, the rally, absolutely amazing. Very well, well organised. Um, so we're definitely not going to ever do that again. No. It was totally, totally organised, totally awesome, I'm not doing it again. Yeah, it's rubbish, yeah, absolutely rubbish. Next year? Yeah, definitely have a bash at hopefully trying to get over there next year at some point. Do you reckon we should take a couple more Zoe's with us? I think we should take the whole club. Yeah, so anyone in the club wants to do the Belgian Rally next year? I'm, I'm not paying for it though. New, the new, this new R110, I've got some footage of Craig racing up a Tesla from the Tesla dash cam, and the Zoe flies, and I mean, Flies. That was that was so much fun. It was. Craig is a uh, semi-professional ra racing driver. I, I did pretty well to keep up. Well, in fact, they they were just in my way. Them Tesla Model Three. Yeah, they're just they're slowing us down. They were. To be fair, though, I think uh, Philippe was quite impressed with how fast the Zoe was when you fell with it. He, he had his um, autopilot set to follow. Um, so when Craig took off down the <laughs> corner. He started to head towards a corner at 60 miles an his hour. Model 3 <laughs> followed us. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun. But yeah, I, I fully, fully recommend that we do, you do the uh, rally. It was really good. We're probably going for a tunnel, so this is probably dark as hell. But make sure you subscribe to Craig's Renault Zoe Owners Club video. There's a logo over his head, and there's a logo over my head. To subscribe to me. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye. Bye. Book checker, book checker. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going in the takeouts. <laughs>